Hey folks, today I'd like to take a casual peek into the LEGO Hero Factory bulk constructible uh, figure toy. This figure toy uh, it was originally released in 2010 in the summer and uh, I found this set at a Toys R Us uh, for $8. And uh, I had heard about Hero Factory uh, earlier this year. Uh, I think it was when it was first announced uh, sometime in January or February. And uh, I was actually quite intrigued and I was looking forward to seeing uh, uh, more uh, designs of these uh, Hero Factory sets. Obviously, um, this is a um, continuation, or I don't know if it's a continuation or replacement of the long-running Bionicle series. Uh, I don't know if LEGO actually officially announced the end of Bionicle or not, uh, but uh, from what I've read and uh, heard uh, is that uh, Bionicle series is ending and the Hero Factory is following on. And I collected the Bionicle uh, when it first came out uh, about 10 years ago. I thought they were kind of interesting but I never went beyond the first uh, uh, two sets. Uh, I thought they were pretty interesting. Here's the original uh, Anua on here. And I thought they were kind of interesting. They they look like they used the Technic parts and, and also different, uh, just different and unique molds uh, for the Bionicle. Uh, but I never really actually latched on to that. I, I thought they were neat. I didn't hate them. And it's just that uh, they were, I thought they were very abstract uh, in, in just in their names as well. And I, for whatever reason, I never latched on to them. But when I saw the Hero Factory figure sets, uh, I thought they were uh, quite intriguing and I was looking forward to the release of these guys um, you see here uh, this one is bulk and this is uh, the based on the hero factory uh, I guess they're robotic heroes and villains and uh, I guess uh, the hero factory city uh, I can't remember the name of the city now produces uh, these uh, robotic heroes and uh, Bulk here is one of the uh, veterans like, uh, of the uh, good faction, I guess you could say. And uh, I thought, uh, I picked this guy up first. I thought he was pretty interesting. And, uh, and uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at him in detail when we get this guy open. So, taking a look at the back of the package here, you could see uh, Bulk, or Duncan Bulk. Here, he's fighting... Uh, I think this is Explode. Uh, it looks like Explode to me on there. And you can see the actual size of the uh, helmet over here. And oh yeah, and uh, on the front here it says from the makers of Bionicle characters. So um, I'm interested that they put characters on there. So let's go ahead and open this guy up and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, uh, we're back here and uh, we have all the parts to assemble bulk uh, together and uh, also an assembly manual. And the first thing I noticed uh, right away after looking at all of these parts are the uh, lack of uh, Technic parts. Uh, I think the only Technic parts are these right here. And everything else seems to be sort of a unique uh, mold or a mishmash of Technic parts put together and molded together as a single piece on there. Now, um, like I said earlier, I haven't followed uh, Bionicle uh, beyond the first couple of sets, so I don't know if this is something unique to Hero Factory or something that has evolved over time uh, through the Bionicle series, uh, where they're moving away from Technic parts. Because I remember it, uh, from the Onua set, they had actual gears to maneuver the arms, uh, to swing the arms uh, around and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and there are just no gears at all on the on these sets. Uh, there's just these ball joints uh, on here. And I remember... Uh, uh, seen ball joints on some uh, the Bionicle series but I just didn't know if 
uh, they moved away from Technic parts or not. So if anybody uh, is a Bionicle expert, uh, let me know if it was uh, a Bionicle thing that uh, where they phased away from these Technic parts, or if this is something new to Hero Factory. Uh, I'd like to know. Uh, I just wanted to go ahead and uh, go over all of these uh, parts here. You can see here's the assembly manual. It's not too complicated. And you just follow the steps and I have to put this guy together. It's very neat on here. And uh, you can see here, I guess this is the Hero Factory City. I can't remember the name. I have to look uh, again online. And I, I just remember it had a Bionicle sounding name on there. And there's a picture, um, I think this is one of the rookie guys, I can't remember his name, but I think this guy is Corroder on there. And uh, we have all of the parts here. Uh, you can see uh, that um, bulk here, or Duncan bulk, uh, is going to be primarily silver, black, and a touch of orange here. Uh, the orange being the translucent parts. And this is his head here on there. Pretty neat. Uh, and uh, we'll be right back and have a bulk here uh, put together. And so go ahead and stay tuned and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back and we have bulk here uh, assembled. And uh, before we take a look at bulk in more detail, I just want to mention that uh, one of my pet peeves about LEGO, uh, as far as... Uh, the packaging uh, going back to Bionicle and now to Hero Factory is just a lack of information about the character. Just on this packaging there is nothing to tell you who this guy is. And uh, you really have to do your homework just to find out uh, uh, any backstory or just information about the guy. And when I bought this guy, he looked nice and nice looked pretty cool. Uh, but I just didn't know, did not know who this guy was uh, until I went on some wiki pages and uh, just doing uh, some research on the Lego site and I found out that Bulk here is a uh, one of the veterans, uh, I guess, of the Alpha team, and he's the uh, the strong guy of the team. Uh, he's not too bright, uh, but he's uh, a powerhouse and can take on pretty much any villain. And I just wish LEGO would actually put something on their packaging. I think it would actually help on there. Because especially like when uh, looking at the Bionicles and not knowing uh, the storyline or anything like that. It's just, especially their abstract design, I couldn't tell who who was who. <laughs> and, but this one is a little bit better. Uh, this one I can relate to more. because I think it's more because it's a, got that humanoid uh, design. You could say, and not that, not too abstract. It's a little, uh, not too much, but it's a lot more uh, humanoid in design. So I could probably pick this guy out between him and uh, the other figures on there. But taking a look at uh, Bulk here, you can see he's heavily armored, at least on the front. Uh, on the back here, he practically has no armor. So if you want to catch this guy, you got to catch him from behind. <laughs> But I don't know if that's meant to be that way for you to add on parts uh, on here to customize your bulk figure or not. Because I think that's one of the uh, the features, or I don't know if you can call it a feature, uh, with the hero factories that uh, they mass produce these heroes. And I guess you can customize your hero to what you want. And uh, I don't know if... So I don't know if this is intentionally left uh, bare here <laughs> on the back. So, But it's still uh, the armor that's uh, on the front. It's kind of neat on here. It's, uh, most of the armor is in silver. He's got a uh, silver hand here. And uh, it looks like you, you can add something for him to grip onto there. And uh, this here, uh, his uh, I guess his weapon here and his arm here is all molded in one piece. Uh, there's... Uh, He's not actually gripping it. It's, uh, like I said, it's, uh, it's been sculpted uh, to be part of the, his arm here, which is interesting. Well, I guess it's a robot, so he's got a customized arm there. And he's got the Hero Factory logo on the chest. I think most of the heroes have that emblem on there on the front. I really like the helmet design here. It's very nice. Uh, it's 
reminds me of a Cylon almost, but not, uh, just a little bit. Let me just take off the uh, helmet here to reveal the head there of Volk. And it's translucent orange on there. It's a very nice uh, color, actually. I like it on there. Again, let me go ahead and put this guy back on. And uh, I had forgotten about the articulation of at least the basic uh, figures uh, from Bionicle and uh, uh, now Hero Factory that uh, they, they do have ball joints at the major joints at the shoulders and the hips and the hand and the feet. Uh, but uh, I was looking at my Onua and it's the same case over here. They don't, they don't have any articulation at the elbows or the knees. I had thought they uh, had it, at, uh, but I guess they don't on these basic figures. So, uh, but going over the articulation, the head's on a ball joint, so it can go all the way around, up and down, tilt side to side, and, uh, nice range of motion there. The uh, arms are, like I said, a ball joint at the shoulders, so they go all the way around, out, in, in all sorts of directions. No articulation at the elbow. The hand is on a ball joint, so it can go all the way around, pretty much. No waist articulation on this guy, or torso articulation, unfortunately. The uh, uh, legs are at the hips, or ball joints, so they can uh, go in all sorts of directions, and the feet are on a ball joint, uh, but because of this armor here, prevents uh, some of the uh, poseability on the feet. Uh, as I said earlier, uh, this is the extent of his arm here, and uh, this is all molded into one piece. And even the, um, I guess these are the ammunition, these ball things, and they, they're part of the arm as well. They don't shoot, it doesn't shoot or anything like that. So, but uh, overall, it uh, looks like a pretty uh, nice figure for Hero Factory, uh, for a basic figure. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm looking f more forward to the villains. They seem to be a little bit more, art well, I don't know if articulated, but they, they, they're in a bigger packaging, so it looks like they may have a little bit more features than these basic heroes. And I think uh, maybe this is the whole point of Hero Factories to build your hero on there. I'll have to do more research to find out, but uh, for. Uh, for me, I recommend uh, this uh, if you want to start out uh, uh, with a new series, I guess. Uh, if, you were, if you weren't into Bionicle or missed Bionicle, uh, I, I think this is a good place to start uh, with, these, with this set, with the Hero Factory set. And I'm interested in mainly because I'm into superhero figures and this seems to be in that direction. So. I think uh, hopefully they'll develop a story uh, for this uh, for t to follow along. I just wish they would give you some backstory on these guys. But but this is my casual peek into the Lego Hero Factory bulk figure. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.